how to add html code to canva website hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial in today's video i'm going to show you how you can embed an html code into your canva website or your canva design it is going to be the same process so the process is going to be very easy and very simple follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go the first thing that you need to do is to head over to canva.com sign in for an account and here we have the workspace of canva then we are going to type in on the search bar website. So we are going to seek for our website that we have created. If we do not have a website, go ahead and select one of these sites that or uh, you're going to see some presets for the templates of them. And here we have it. I'm going to select the website that I have, click on edit. So we are going to get the editor. Now I'm going to click on edit design since it is going to be already published. Now we are going to head over the apps. Or first, before heading over the apps, I'm going to scroll down a little bit and add another page. So we are going to add that HTML code into it. So we are going to click on apps. Then we are going to search for uh, the app called Embed, just like that. And we are going to search for it. We are going to see this blue icon, as you can see, sharing and play button. We are going to add it in here, and then we need a website theme. So here, I think that you have concluded that we cannot add a HTML code into the Canva design. And this is true, completely true, but we can add instead some smart links. These smart links are going to be uh, a HT or not HTML, but used as URLs. So you can go ahead and get the help of these type of uh, URLs by using uh, third party apps or platforms such as HealthSite. Uh, job forms or Google forms. For example, for elf site, you're going to head over the widgets of yours. I'm going to head over my account. Then I am going simply to let you see here the widgets that I have created. We are going to head over any of the widgets. So for example, for this in the, uh, WhatsApp chat, I'm going to click on install. And here we're going to see the embed code or the HTML code. And also we have the shell link or the smart link. So you're going to copy the smart link put it in here and then you're going to click on add to design and you're going to see the widget uh, appearing right there just like that instead of having an HTML code. Now let's head over to form and we are going to let you see how we can do that also. So we are going to see all our forms. If you are going to install a form, for example, mini subscribe form, this one, we are going to click on edit form and make sure that everything is set up in place in this form. So we are going to click on publish and here we are going to get the a quick share link, which is going to be the smart link. Also, we can also have the embed, but we are going to use the quick link. So we are going to put it in here. I'm going to use that, put it in here and you're going to see your form appearing just in front of you, just like that. This is so simple as you can see. Now we are going to head over Google form. So we are going to do the same thing. So for example, we have an RSVP. We are going to click on publish and then we are going to copy the responder link. Uh, here we're going to click on publish and then normally we are going to the, uh, see the response. So embedded HTML, I'm not going to embed it, but we're going to see here. So iframe, we're not going to embed it, but maybe you are going to get this link. For example, we are going to copy it. Here we are going to paste it in here and see if it is going to read it. Uh, so this is the shortened uh, version of the link. So it will not basically to, uh, going to read it, but it is going to read the long version. Basically, the, you've got the idea on how we can uh, set up the uh, HTML as, uh, let's say here, um, links or smart links. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.